Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Jacobs. I'm a nasal surgeon and I wanted to show patients about the nasopharynx because with the COVID virus, people are talking about doing, of course, nasopharyngeal swabs. You can do oropharyngeal swabs and nasal swabs, but the nasopharynx is an area that a lot of people don't know about where it is exactly. It's sort of this dark hole, like Indiana Jones is a treasure at the end, but how do you get through the cave? So this is a drawing of the nasopharynx made simple. So we call it NP for nasopharynx. This is a cross section of a face, so this would be the eye, the outside of the nose, this is the inside of the nose, this is your tongue, and the chin, of course, would be here. What you want to do if you're going to do a swab is to go straight back into the nose. So this is the opening of the nose. You don't want to go up. There's sensitive structure called nasal turbinates, and they'll bleed and get swollen quite a bit. So you want to go straight back. So you have the patient's head straight, and I'm going to demonstrate that on my nurse in a minute. And then the nasopharynx is this box area at the back. So when the Q-tip hits the back, the swab hits the back of, of, of the nasopharynx, you'll know when to stop. And then, of course, you can withdraw it straight out. So go straight in, straight out. Don't have the head tilted. So if you're, in a, if you're in a, if swabbing somebody in a car, in, in their car, and you're standing there, and you're a nurse or, or practitioner, and they're sitting there against the headrest, don't have them do that. If they do, you're going to have to come in at an angle parallel to their head. So this side here shows the outside of the nose, the nostrils and the nasal tip from below. You'd be going into here. This is the inside of the nose. This is the nasal septum, which is cartilage, has lining mucosa, and nasal turbinates, which can bleed a fair amount. And of course, people, some people have a deviated nasal septum. So maybe their septum is bent like this. If you're going to put the, the nasal swab in this side, if you go in gently along the floor here, if you hit a structure, then you should stop and just try to go to the other side instead. And if the septum is deviated this way, you'll have a lot more space on this side to go into. So just go along the floor of the nose and make sure that you don't, if you hit something hard, just switch to the other side. So let me show, come on in, Jenny. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. So this is obviously, it's all sterile technique. We wear masks and gowns, but we're not doing that. It's just to show the anatomy today. And there's a double swab, but we're just gonna take one out just for sake of demonstration. And then, so here's her, her head has to be straight like that. And you want to go into the nose like this, but you don't want to go up. And you don't want to go out to hit that turbinate. And you don't want to go inside. So if you look towards the camera, Danny, so you want to go straight in and all the way in. You don't, again, don't want to go up. You don't want to hit the septum. You don't hit the turbinate. You want to go straight in along the floor of the nose. And the floor of the nose would be right about parallel to where the bottom of the tragus is, which is this part over here, the bottom, near the bottom of the ear. So that's your trajectory, except straight in and then straight out again. Thank you.